Now let's go to our special series called Passing on Traditions, Craftsmen in China. Today we meet Shan Jieju, who has worked on paintings at Beijing's Palace Museum for 38 years. It's not a way to get rich, but it is a calling of great value. Shan Jiazhou is restoring a calligraphy work by Qing Dynasty Emperor Qian Long, who was both artist and collector. Emperor Qianlong was very concerned with the mounting of pictures. He always gave instructions on how many pine trees and how many cranes should be drawn by the side. Shan told us to restore a work like this will take about four months. The most important thing for us is to have a calm heart and patience. You can only repair several paintings or calligraphy works a year. The work cannot be done in a hurry. If you are in a bad mood or the work isn't done smoothly, you should stop doing it because a wrong move would harm the whole piece. It's irreversible. Shun has walked this path for 38 years. Though the Palace Museum is thronged with visitors every day, Shan's department is located by a serene courtyard set apart from the hustle and bustle. Shan's apprentice, Yu Li, outlines the journey of a young restorer. I have been here for two and a half years, but I haven't renovated a single piece because my master told us that only after being an apprentice for three years can we start to do it on our own. So my job is doing preparations such as stirring paste or scrapping paper. What I learned from her is not only the techniques, but also the responsibility of restoring the ancient relics. In this case, Shan is repairing an ancient landscape painting. The first step is to rinse the painting using warm water in order to remove layers of paper attached to the back. This back paper was made during Emperor Qianlong's reign. The skill of making it has been lost, so we'll keep it for renovating relics. The hardest step is to remove the last layer, which is directly attached to the painting. It's only 0.22 millimeters thin. We remove this layer by rubbing it. Three days later, Shan successfully removed the layer. Hmm, <laughs> Every time when I finish repairing a work, I have a sense of accomplishment. This is a conscientious job, not one for slackers. This Ming Dynasty silk painting depicting two cranes took four months of mending. There is a shortcut method, attaching a whole piece of silk to the back of the painting, which can be done in a few days. But Shan has opted instead to align the threads both horizontally and vertically. If I did it that way, hundreds of years later, the silk I attached and the painting would be sticking together as one piece. Then there would be no way to repair it again. This method would be scolded by our descendants. It's not easy to pass down an ancient relic from one generation to the next, so it's our responsibility to do so. It should not be destroyed at our hands. Shan inherited her zeal for restoration from her father, who worked in relics protection at the Palace Museum for 70 years. My father didn't allow us to collect relics, so I've never been to the antique market. If you are a relic collector and you are seeking some relics or materials from a certain period, you might be tempted to steal some from the museum, so I don't touch that trade. 
but integrity in the job precludes being a collector. Apart from restoring the relics herself, Shan is dedicated to nurturing the next generation of restorers. After she retires, she looks forward to traveling the world. For now, though, there is more than enough to keep her occupied in Beijing. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.